because I know my ancestors come from predominantly England and Scotland and Ireland, and sometimes I just contemplate it, strange as that sounds, I just wonder what my life would be like if I lived in England. And I actually read something recently of my the, the man, that James Adams, who came here in 1770 and what he did and all the struggles that he went through to get to America. When I think of him, I just think how where he decided to settle and if he didn't settle, settle North Carolina, I wouldn't be in North Carolina right now. So even though he lived 300 years ago, he has such a big impact of who I am and where I'm living. Well, the other night I was doing research on the computer and through some old documents that my dad collected. And I just kind of realized, it was one of those eureka moments where you realize that like, it's a, ever, it's a never ending story. It just goes on forever, basically. It just depends what documents you use to research and what research methods you use to figure information out. One time I did my family history for someone, one of my mom's side of the family, and it went back 2,000 years, and I'm like, that's absolutely ridiculous. That's before Jesus was born, that can't be true. But I, so, I mean, through that experience, I just had to realize that you can't trust all resources, and especially online resources, because anyone can post any information online.